these. Um, I was going to go ahead and show you my favorites, uh, homeschool favorites from last year. Um, this year will be 2016, 2017, I guess would be the school year, whatever. But anyway, this is, these are the things that we liked or that was our favorite things from this past school year. Um, some of this stuff I'm getting rid of, so I'm trying to show you before I get rid of it. Um, these we're actually keeping, and the only reason I say that they're our favorites and then I say we're getting rid of it, but, um, they just, they're young for our kids, put it back. Um, so that's why I'm getting rid of some of it, but some of them I'm I keeping. Want to play plus plus. Not right now, hold on. Um, this, I forgot what they're what called. These are called, I don't remember. It's a smart games, I can't remember. It's a smart games thing, and it comes with these four little magnetic tray-like things. It's a puzzle, and you sit these in it, but you can't touch the white, or if it's flipped to the black side, you can't touch the, oh, that doesn't go in there. You can't touch the black ones, but, um, it's really, really neat. It tells you the rules in here and it just shows you, like this is it, um, let's see, that's the answer side. Like these are really hard. It shows you how to put the little trays together and then it gives you a hint. This is your one hint and then you have to place all the rest of the little pieces onto here without touching the black or white dots. And they, they range from um, fairly simple to extremely hard. Um, and this has been a favorite of everyone. Me and my husband's actually got this out before and played with it. So that's pretty cool. I cannot think of what it's called. If quadrillions, I think that's what it is. Maybe, I don't know. If yeah, I can remember what they're called, I'll uh, put a message. Um, the next thing that I'll show is the scissors. A lot of this stuff came from um, Timberdoodle. That that I just showed came from Timberdoodle, and then these came from Timberdoodle, which I'm sure you can get them from other places, but that's just where I got them from. And they say Faber Castell, Faber Castell, I don't know, but they're these little like toddler scissors, and they're dirty because she uses them a lot. And they are real scissors; they do, they actually cut, but they are great for small hands, especially ones just learning how. Um, how to cut. See? So, let me see it. That was one of our favorites. Um, the next thing I purchased from a yard sale, and I didn't even get all of them out because um, there's 26 of them because they're these little alphabet um, books. So this is just the O, and it's very simple. It says, or open, Outside, open, over, over, and it just shows the little pictures. It's kind of like, um, it reminds me of the Dick and Jane books that you see, the pictures, and it may be from the same company, I'm not sure. But anyway, there's just one letter for, I mean, one book for each letter, and I like these so much because even though they're very simple, for my three-year-old, it shows her, you know, a big example of what the letter that she's learning looks like. And I do, um trays i guess you would call them like daily trays and i'll put like if she's working on tea i'll put watch out babe here i'll put the tea in stop i'll put the tea in with her um in her tray and then i'll put other things in there that begin with tea for that week or that day or whatever so i like these for that reason so and there's the f1 and then obviously you know what the rest of them look like um, the next thing, and like I said, I got those from a yard sale. I think I paid like $2 for all of them, and it came in its own little case and everything. This next thing, I'm sure you've seen before, and I just bought some Easter eggs at a thrift store, and I wrote, um, and these aren't right, but I'm going to take it off. Um, I wrote contractions on them. Can not, and then she would go through. Let's see if I can find them. Got the correct. Okay, this says it does. Try not to shine it. It says does not, and then 
the bottom one is doesn't and obviously you just click them together so that's what those Can you are open it? wait a minute and i've done these myself i'm sure you've seen them i got the idea off of pinterest uh this is just one of my favorite things a lot of my favorites are thrift store finds and um things that we make on our own but um Hello. anyway the next favorite and it is all tore up we need to get some new ones is this boogie board and, and it's mine it is yours and you just write on it and then press the button there and it I goes away um wait a minute stop don't do that um but this one's red um my son has a blue one and my daughter had my other daughter had a red one but uh they're called boogie boards and i think i've even seen these um in walmart but ours came from Timberdoodle. We got them for free with our curriculum last year, but I really like these. This is a great thing to take to church and like in restaurants and things like that. So And some places that you want to go, mm -hmm. like thrift stores. And yeah, well, we've took this in the thrift store before and she's played with it while Mama looked around. Um, the next thing I'll show you is Plus Plus, plus, plus. and it came in this container mm -hmm. and it says Plus Plus on them. I very seriously yeah, doubt you'll plus be able to see it. It's a white one. Plus, plus, it says plus, it on there, but they just plus, look like that. Plus, all of them look like that. They're all the exact same shape. Stop, Noah. Put those back in there. I want to play with them. We'll play with them, but don't dump them all out. Okay. Um, let's see. I'll show you how they go together. These are awesome. My kid, All three of my kids, three, seven, and nine, have um, sat down... And play with them. And play with them for a very, very long time. Um, they're reminiscent of Legos in a way, but then again, not. I don't know. <laughs> but um, we really, really like these. I even like to play with them. There's different things that you can, you know, you can just build. My mom bunch likes of to play with them, with them all the time. Mm -hmm. Be quiet. Okay, so that was that, and that also came from Timber Doodle. Um, she was showing you this is a car it's falling apart now that my son made out of them so you could see there's plenty of different colors things that you yeah different colors and different things that you can make out of them just use your imagination i'm trying to get it off your foot it's okay the next thing speaking of imagination is imagination patterns i got this from a yard sale um obviously it came in this like very sturdy uh, box it has a little clasp right here and you open it up see Watch out. that's what they called it's a magnet 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 and, <laughs> and it just has these little cards in it and yeah you and use you can flip the, them over and it has it in. you use the magnets to make the picture so, and there's several different little cards in here and mm -hmm. all of these little magnets. And of course, both sides, is, are, both sides of the case are magnetic, so. And they, I believe, have all played with this as well. Yeah, they have. Um, it's called Mindware. It says mindware.com, creative magnet play with pattern shapes. So, I don't know how much this would be, but I'm sure you could look that website up and uh, find it if you really wanted one. Are that, you doing, that's something that we're keeping doing, because we really like that. Yeah, I like it too. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. The next thing also came from Timber Doodle. And it's this um, it's another play. smart, I think it's smart games, I think is what it's called. But it's just little pictures like this. And you take the pieces and you recreate whatever picture is on the card. So, so we have that. some pictures of some new cards mm -hmm. and we And they, cards. these also range from easy to like medium to difficult to hard or you know whatever you want to call it but there's several I'm playing plus plus 
there's several different cards in here and they all have a front and a back so it's you know not just a few cards there's several different puzzles to do um, this is one of the things that we're probably getting rid of, not because I don't like it, obviously, because it's in my favorites video, but just because I think that they've kind of outgrown it. So we're going to pass it along and let some other kids get some use out of it, right? Right. The next thing is also from Timber Doodle. Um, we got the, um, what's it called? Teaching textbook, sorry. Um, my son is in fifth grade this year, and I already resold the um, Math 4, so I'm just showing you this one just so you have a visual of what I'm talking about. But um, this is awesome. This is not the only thing that you get. You also get a um, workbook, and you get a um, teacher's uh, answer guide. And I just, I have those put away. I'm sure, I mean, they're just books. You know what a book looks like, I hope. Um, yeah. But these are, these are great. There's four CDs in here. And why I like them so much is because you install the first CD. You get everything set up. And then um, my son will go on there and he can do a lesson. It's all broke down for you. It keeps, I think that it keeps scoring or grades. I'm not really sure. Because I didn't really get it. A lot into the um, computer part of it <clears throat> this past year but I think I'm gonna rely on it a little bit more this year I'm not real sure but that's that's one of the reasons I like it because you can let the computer teach while you do something else where are you going man you can, let the you can let the computer teach sorry while you do something else or you can get the workbook and from the workbook you can teach on your own you know and then you have the um the answer guide to um kind of fall back on because i am horrible at math i mean horrible. yeah I'm, I'm bad at math but um anyway so that's why i like this because it's it's very to me very helpful especially because i'm not good at math it gives him the answers on here. It well, it doesn't give him the answers on here, but it'll um, it'll let you know if you're wrong. And it just I don't know. It's just a very good guide, and it goes slow enough that I think he's learning, but fast enough that I don't think he's getting bored with it. Um, we may do a more extensive um, review of the teaching textbooks because I really really like this. But anyway. So that's that one. Let's put that up there so I don't get broken. Um, the next thing also came from Timber Doodle. A lot of this stuff came from Timber Doodle because last year was our first year homeschooling. Um, so that's just where a lot of our things came from last year and also this year. Um, but these are called widgets. They also have um, cards with them. Let's see, that's not the part that I want to build You just shape. put them together. There's a bunch of different pieces. And this is the widget starter tote, so I'm assuming that there's more that you could buy to go with it. I'm going to show you a card if I can get one out of here. Ooh. Really, Noah? What do you say? Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. Mom life. Anyway. Um, let's see. Okay, this card, like, it shows you which pieces you need, and then it shows you the picture. So, wait, wait a minute. That ain't right. Hold on. I don't think that's right. Have you not showed the Bible? No, not yet. Be still. I mean, stop. I guess that's, yeah. Yeah, that's how you do it. Okay, sorry. It shows you how many pieces you need. So you just need one of those, three of those, two of those, and so on and so forth. And then you try to make the shape or the tower or whatever you want to call it that's on the other side. And there's several different cards. Um, and it comes in this little tote. It's got a spot for the cards. It's got a spot for the little instruction manual. And then obviously it's got the pieces and it just unzips but it's called widgets 
widgets, widgets, I don't know, but that's how we say it, widgets, so anyway, so that's that, and I just, I don't know, anything to do with building or, you know, stacking, all of my kids like, obviously, because a couple of these things were right along the same lines, but that was our favorite. Um, stop now. Our last favorite for last year was this. It's the Toddler's Bible. Um, let's see. It was, it says $16.99. And we got it at, um, store. Books A Million. No, not the thrift store. Barnes & Noble or Books A Million. One of those bookstores but um it's really my husband wanted to make sure that it was um as close to the king james version as possible being a toddler bible but you can just see the illustration you know is uh it's not a whole lot of words so it keeps their attention really well and the pictures or whatever, the illustrations, I mean, I'm sorry, the writing is minimal. So it's not, you know, very wordy, I guess you could call it. But the illustrations um, are really basic. So they're, you know, they're bright and colorful. And I think it's just, I don't know, I really, really like this. We've read several stories out of here. Um... Obviously, this is not something that we're getting rid of anytime soon. No, no, don't get rid of it. Um, I just, I really like this. It's so sweet. It's so cute. Um, it's small. She's taken this to church before. Um, so, it's the Bible, you know. I don't know. It's just really cute. I really like this. And this, I think, would be our number one favorite, especially for her this year. Um, I think that that is it. So... Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye.